little bit more about the decision to use sort of this old technology of balloons? You know, I've always flown on a rocket ship, you know, on some fighter airplanes. Uh, this is a little bit different. It doesn't have a lot of moving parts. So we feel we could build a system that can carry about six passengers uh, up into the stratosphere and do it in a very reliable uh, and hopefully safe, safe way. We'll uh, be able to do the same thing that a satellite could do, whether it's communications or reconnaissance or as a scientific platform. To launch even the cheapest rockets costs, you know, 10 or 20 million dollars. We do it now at a fraction of the cost of launching in a rocket. When are you guys actually going to be, you know, transporting passengers, paying passengers into the stratosphere? In later part of next year, we could be flying passengers up uh, above 100,000 feet into the stratosphere. When I first got first got to look at the Earth for the first time as a round ball floating in the blackness of space, it was transformative. I mean, it really changed the way that I thought of the planet especially the environment. You know, we hope that all those people will uh, kind of become like us astronauts, uh, you know, that we're outspoken about uh, protecting our planet, and protecting the environment.